This club has already become a sensation when after surviving their first year in EPL next season they won the league. This team is only 8th by the budget in the league but is currently going 2nd after Liverpool and surprises everybody once again. How much does the club pay their players to do such an amazing job and surprise the entire world? This is effect of money and how much lesser players earn. We'll divide our list on 5 categories. Youth and academy players under 1 million euro per year, second squad under 2 million, main squad 2 to 3.5 million, important players under 5 million, and superstars that get every year above 5 million. In the first category, we have only two people. They're both from Leicester Academy, Hamza Chidori and Harvey Barnes. They both make about half a million euro, which is normal for youth players. Barnes this year got a lot better and probably gonna get a new contract soon. Second category, and this people that we don't see on the field very much. Two subkeepers, Danny Ward and Eldin Jakubovic, make a little over a million. The same amount makes defender Daniel Marti. No games played yet, it is not clear why they renewed his contract. It is also not clear why Leicester signed Matty James and Bartos Kapuska, because they were not even included in the squad listing for the season, but both make almost 2 million euro. And the last in this category, surprisingly, Yuri Telemans, who agreed to come from Monaco to a pretty small salary, 1.9 million per year. The soccer player agreed to it just to join the team that he is comfortable with. Main squad, and here is a whole bunch of players with good contract. 2.6 million, Mark Albright, not very good this season. But Spanish Ayosa Perez and Turkish Kaklar Sunes play really well and well deserve their salaries. A little more makes Christian Fuchs and Nampolis Mendy, both are having a weak season. Lesser expects more from Mendy, but now he's losing his pot in main squad to stronger teammates. 3.5 million makes Demarai Gray, last year he looked a bit better but still deserves his money. The same salary has James Madison, and no question to that guy. He plays better every day and one of the best chance creators in the league. 3.4 million makes captain Wes Morgan. He deserves his salary for everything he has done for the club. The last on this category is a player who has bought from Man City, Kilicho Eohinacho. But unfortunately, he is getting progressively worse every year. Category Important players. Salaries of those players are comparable to top clubs. However, the first one here is Filip Benkovic. He can't get into starting 11 but makes 3.5 euro per year. 3.7 million makes Ben Chilwell. He plays really well and is a solid starter for every game. Not a lot of questions to his partner in defense, Ricardo Pereira, 4 million per year. 4.3 million seems like a small salary for one of the best midfielders in the league, Wilfred Ndidi. In this category, there is also is Dennis Pratt who came from Sampdoria this summer and still hasn't fully adjusted to EPL. And the last in this category is a defender, mostly famous for his performance for Man United, Johnny Evans, with 4.6 million, not bad this season. Superstars, and here's three. First, of course, reason for success, coach Brendan Rodgers. This summer he lost Maguire but still managed to make Leicester stronger and currently in second in the league. He well deserves his 5.8 million per year. Kasper Schmechel is a symbol of championship season that Leicester had and 33 years for a keeper is not the end. He became a real legend for that club. The biggest wage has Jamie Wardy, 8 million per year and he deserves every euro of it. He is 32 years old but he is first by the amount of goals in the league. Amazing player. In conclusion, it is great to see that after championship season Leicester didn't give up. And maybe this year they will repeat the miracle of 2016. It was Effect of Money with the Soccer Facts. Subscribe. Thank you for watching.